Right. Let's get it done. Where's your cup of tea? Copy. Tea, copy. Do I have to pretend I'm drinking a tea? I've got a bit of cold. No, you don't need to, but it's not correct otherwise. This is... Six licks. This is the, uh, the RC and around pose. Actually, um, while, you, while you're the there, RC and around. I adjusted the camera, so... I'm making sure your top of your head isn't chopped. Oh, you're good. You're good. You're good. Excuse me. You're not having it? I've kind of drunk it, mate. Hello. Hi. Hello. We're back in T-Models. Well, I'm back in T-Models. You're always in T-Models. I'm in T-Models. Uh, just, I'm here physically, but mentally I'm not 100%. But we're all right. Um. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you in? What way, what way have we got? Uh, we have for you today a brown truck. Beige? Well, it's brown looking. Uh, anyway. If you look at the floor, it shouldn't be on the floor. This is the HBI Venture, which I know nothing about. I did zero research before. You just said to me, here, I've got this HBI, come and have a look at it. Ah, you want to do a video on this uh, truck? So, and I've not had a massively good look. I took, we took it out of the box, put uh, it on the shelf. I've never seen it. I have no information on it. The only thing I do know is it doesn't sell very well. It's not really been a big seller, and we're kind of going to go and have a look and see what's what. To be fair, they've probably not had them. Aye. I would imagine that they've you were saying they haven't recovered yet. To, have they? Yeah, I think that I think from about now HBI should be pretty good. I think this is always a lot of kits coming in very soon and spares, and they're getting a lot of deliveries. So, mm. so we should be getting better. Venture is a four wheel drive scaler, one ten scale. Uh, red? Is it ready to run? It is ready to run, isn't it? Yes, yeah. it is. It's like one of these things like when Traxxas did it. It's like, oh, Traxxas uh, are doing a crawler. That's weird. Now, T-Rex 4. Are... But then, how old is this? Well, it was it was, it was was on... Was it not at like the Toy Fair like a year or two ago? Well, like, that, ages Yeah, ago. but then, do you remember when it, and uh, then it all went HBI crazy. showed the... The, 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 what's it called? The Octane. Savage the Octane, Octane like, and it was like 400 years ago. And then, <laughs> and then no one could get it. And then Lossy released theirs like, and they were like, crap, we actually need to finish this now. Uh, but anyway, that's a different story. So, it's... Do you like telling people way ahead of time? Eh? Yes. Three, yeah, that's a good way of putting it, yeah. They like to give you plenty of notice. In case you thought about buying another brand, yeah. it makes you hold out, I suppose, for the one that, that, you, that you may want. So... What we have here, we have a 3S compatible truck. Um, I noticed it comes with everything, including the AA batteries, and the, it comes with a 7.2 nickel metal hydride battery. Um, Land Cruiser, FJ. Aye, FJ Cruiser. FJ Land Cruiser. Cruiser. Land Cruiser. And um, what else do we know about it? It's got metal gears, and it says here threaded aluminium shocks. Uh, waterproof electronics. Dual springs on them, but you'll see that when we open the car. Except it's not in here. You're going to pretend to take it out the box. I'm just going to give you the transmitter here. Usual HBI transmitter. I'm sure everyone's seen one before. Four double A's in the bottom. All your end points, left, right. Ooh. Throttle and not throttle. Brown. Final reverse. Done. Brown. But it's brown. It's brown. It's brown. It's brown. It's brown. It's the colour of a terrible cup of coffee. <laughs> the one I just made you, the tea I just made you. Uh, the tea you just made me is darker than the coffee you generally make. <laughs> Did you want more milk in it? If I had more right. milk in it, it would be What, what you've got to do is you have to take this off. What? You what didn't is, know that. No, what is, what? You've got to take this little clip off here, if you can see that. What's that for? This. Then you lift the tyre up because it Ooh. slops into the shell. Like that. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So, so you, can't so you get physically the shell can't. Off. Ah, okay. I like that though. It's a nice. It's a nice way. Yeah, it's nice. It's just you can't park close to anybody, or you won't get it open. Apart from that, fine. A yeah. nine, a nine for supermarkets, but we'll be. Because if you're if you're going to be like absolutely realistic, and you parked in front of your mate's truck, you're like, <laughs> yeah. ah, I can't oh, open the boot now. I forward. can't do it. Right. If you're what scale shopping. Yeah, scale shopping. Is that like shopping for a scale truck, or is that using a scale truck to go shopping? Or shopping for scales. Anyway, for let's scales. get on with the truck. This yes. is a very weird setup. Ah, this. look at that! It's got a front mounted motor to keep the weight nice and low and forward for climbing purposes. Yeah, that's cool. Although the batteries at the back. 35 so turn. Argue, yeah. Oh, so see what's quite back. weird is you've got a gearbox here. Let me just dislodge. With a drive shaft. Dislodge. Are you coming? Are. are you coming? Yeah. You've got a, got a motor and a gearbox here uh -huh. and a drive shaft going back, but then another gearbox here. Yeah, what's that so for? It's like double gearboxes. And then that's the one putting your power out to the front and back. 
So what's this one? Okay. No, I get it. I, I get suppose it. it gears it pretty low, but yeah, it does look strange. It's, it's like metal, why? Right? I mean, yeah. I suppose is it the only way of getting the weight here and moving the stuff, moving the drive to the middle? Very possibly. Or, or would you not put in a big? Yeah. Or is it? I don't... suppose you would need the drive shaft to come from the point that the suspension hinges from, right enough. So... Or you know, if they put it in the middle, maybe tracks us or through them. <coughs> I mean, oh. uh, better not go there. Better not go there. So what we got here? The servo is not mounted on the on the um, axle. It is mounted up there, or it's not particularly high. What's good about the steering uh -huh. is the steering bar that links is behind. That's cool, isn't it? And not in front, That's so cool. it's not going to be the, the thing bar? that gets. What's the steering bar made of? It's uh, metal. Metal. Yeah, I noticed like quite a, a lot of stuff that's metal here. These are metal. The, the front diff cover's metal. I like that. That's really nice. Little Because when you look at the G-Made Komodo, for example, which I really like, it's got a sort of chromed plastic front of the diff. It looks awful. Aye. But that's nice. I did wonder if that was when and I saw it. Plastics first. are the normal HBI ply. Look how nice and pliable that is. Oh, that's nice. HBI plastics are feel... I must say, HBI probably have the nicest plastics. Um, one of, anyway. Plastic See, what's that. weird is you've got this... I think we used to call it a torsion bar when I had one, when I had ah. the old Jimny, you know. Yeah, yeah. So that's stopping the axle from rocking back and forward. I've not seen that on a model. Yeah, nice, nice. Um, let's have that's a tire steering, tread, nice steering, soft yeah. compound. Um, not the deepest of treads, but it's okay. Um, I like the, the scale nods, like the actual genuine toe points. That's single. nice. So suppose you've not, so what, you've, you've not got this on the front. You've got no, a it's single not, one. It's not a four link. It's and like then a three link. this <laughs> as well. Isn't that odd? Because you haven't got that bar in there. So this rear. is actually quite far removed from the sort of axial G made. They have thought about it, eh? They have you know, thought about it. It's different. It it's different. It's an odd The shocks ball. look cool how they're dead upright. Yeah. And like you've it's got, got dual rate. On it. Dual rate shocks, yeah. Dual rate shocks. What's the. What's the uh, articulation, Alan? You may want to do the front because we can't see a damn thing. So it's close to the camera. About normal. It's, it, it's typical there. sort of axial level. But there. Yeah, normal. It's an oddball, isn't it? The thing is, for a scale one that's under a shell that's narrow, yeah, you're yeah. never going to have a massive. It's not going to be like 90 degrees, is it? Up or halfway up a wall type. So the retail price of this ready to run truck is what? 375. 375. 374. And how does, that, how does that compare to its competition directly? What well, is the retail price of the Axial SCX10 or something? What are they? Similar? 400 ish? Yeah, yeah. I did think it was on. I wondered if that was maybe the reason oh, yeah. that it didn't sell. And your sell G made well. stuff is about the same, isn't it? About 400 yeah. for G made stuff. So it's about the same. I, I was wondering if maybe that was the reason why it hasn't been a huge seller because an Axial is a safe bet for that price. Ah, it's point. like a known yeah. brand. This, eh, is, but... this is completely different. It's, uh, it's like, got metal chassis, like hollowed so you can run the... I wonder if at a later date... Run the, the cables down the channel if you needed like, to. If that's separate, I suppose... I suppose I'm just making stuff up now, but if, yeah. that, if that's you a separate that. box, maybe, you know, technically you could just say, oh, I want a high-low box, and you could just fit the box in it, and then, that, then you can just keep that... Very same. possibly, very possibly. Because that's kind of like... Um, what... The standard electronics come with an adjustable drag brake, which is nice. And and I like the say, drive like shaft. It does say steel. 3S. 3S which is compatible. Weird, eh? yeah. So, because usually brush stuff runs on a 2S. 3S compatible. Well, brush motors should technically be able to survive 12 volts, and 3S is less than that. So, um, multiple shock mounting locations. That's another thing I thought maybe why it didn't sell too well, and this is a personal preference, is I don't like the look of this particular Land Cruiser. Not just the HBI one, but this Land Cruiser in general. I think it's an ugly, ugly shell. See, what I thought was quite weird is. Uh, so you look at it so and you think like that's it. cool, it's cool, and then you feel that and you think that's not plastic. Is it not? No, that's it's not. It's painted on the outside. That's and it's sort of a so matte finish. So they painted it like that, and yeah. then weird, eh? You can feel you painted that. Yeah, that's painted on the outside. So they've this not painted because you've got that kind of rough. What does the shell See? feel like? Is it? Is it? Quite strong. That'd be quality HBI shell, I would imagine. Quite strong. But well, you say quality. I did have a jump shot one go in the first. Ah, that's all right. Yeah. What's this? All that's the, the roof rack. That's the roof rack. In. It's on little rubber grommets, which mm -hmm. is quite cool. The buildings. Yeah. So it's 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 for someone who wants something a little bit different. I think it'd be nice to have if you were if you do a sort of sca that's, scale that's or meet, eh? Kind of yeah. And if you had all the axles and you got the the track seal, the TRX four. 
<laughs> and all the rest of it. And it'd be, it'd be good to have something just a wee bit different there as well. Yeah. I quite like it. Um, I hate the colour. Toying eyes. <laughs> it's like oh baby diarrhea well, I suppose what I mean what are you gonna t- I suppose everyone does defenders and that I mean I suppose it's something different no yeah. one really does that do they well, well, I think there's like a reason because it's ugly as sin but a shell's a shell you can put a shell on anything yeah yeah and what you're getting for they, your they look pretty sturdy as well for high it's not like big wobbly mounts off for like mounted here they are supported mm-hmm. but you've still got a nice bit of flex on that yeah the HBI plastic. plastics are superb even this bumper which is very big and thick you can see in my hand here it, uh, Actually, it has a bit of give in it there. One of my mates the was looking for awesome. these tone eyes and I wasn't sure and I thought, I, I know they're on this car, out of interest, how much to buy these tone eyes. Okay. It was six pound, I think it was less than six pound, it was like six pound 24 or like a weird number. Right. For that and the bumper and the bull bar. Which See I this, thought, that's, that's quite cheap. cheap that it, is cheap. But then I remember when I had that jump shot and I got a whole host of spares and that was only 25 quid with our spares as well so the, the, the spares are well, good yeah the spares are good they're well they're, priced they're good plastics yeah, yeah yeah so and they're uh, in stock <laughs> all we've said they were in stock as well right so stock seems to be all right getting getting back yeah. good that's good that's decent because that's that was a big a bit of a, uh, an odd i like i like those shock bodies though they're metal i like that i like that color yeah it does say aluminium really shock color, yeah. bodies on the box all right let's have a look we, did you look at the transmitter already? Standard yeah. HBI one. We've seen them oh, all before. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and then your normal, as you said, double A's, 7.2 volt battery, and a cheap wall charger. Straight, what's this? Aluminium straight axle adapter set. Is this the. Uh, straight axle adapter set. Is this not upgrades? Yes. So what steel center drive so if it has a straight axle adapter set that suggests that this is not a straight axle it must be maybe it just makes it must just be that bit uh, I yeah is it just I don't know is it just like a bling version of, I don't know I don't know I'm guessing I'm, I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry we're as usual we're just like oh what is this oh we've done no research and Alan he's got no excuse he sells the damn things I've been doing the shop up, man. Look I at know. all the It does look in the better. Shop. It's not this finished yet. This is another yet. video, but yeah, yeah we're kind of busy doing you the shop up. You can't see it yet. Guys. You're not allowed to see it's it yet. It's a secret. It's you know, a secret. We're going to see it later on. To be continued. Yeah. Look at yeah. the. It's, it's got yeah. like what? one of those servo savers that are on a post, but on the actual servo. I've never seen one oh, of yeah. before. Right so you've got the like the, the adjustment one, of the spring in there. Uh, yeah, I can't. Oh, you can see it. You can see it. Yeah. Yeah, directly on the servo. It's on on the servo. Spline right directly on it. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Eh? Yeah, the metal plates on. So you've got your servo going down to this bit, and then behind that bent bit of metal linking the other wheel up. Can so I just all metal. get a, another look? Because it, is it genuine like a three link? It is, isn't it? At the front, there is no fourth link. No, well, yeah, I don't know you, what, you, what you would call that. Yeah, it is. It's, it's th- three links. That's a four link. And that's weird. It's an oddball. I wonder how it performed. I'd love to find out how it performed, but you can't just go, oh, here's a £375 model, Alan. Can I take it outside? Because <laughs> you got to sell well, it. Well, yeah. Um, but you should buy one. We and then should you maybe should start give me... doing that soon, eh? We'll just start, we'll start rattling about with stuff. Yeah, we side. should. Um, yeah, we should. I mean, the thing is, at the moment, I was going to suggest that we I'll test... i have to show you that other crawler as well. Yeah. Well, people were asking about that Mighty Thunder and wanted to use it. Um, you know, one, one, one of those, one of those Mighty Thunders. Do a quick video um, after this. If well, the thing is, it. well, the thing is, we've got Britain right now is getting hit by this uh, the tail end of this hurricane, isn't it? and we we had a really bad weather and the the wind and the rain, so I was going to wait until that passed. But I know it was like someone said it was what the the beast from the east yeah. came, and what was that? The pest from the west. Somebody said. <laughs> I've never heard of that but one it came, before, but did it not come from it the come in, someone else came, it must have circled round. Good, good. So there we are, this is another random video, completely un- We should maybe plan ahead more because we have no idea what we're going to say. We just throw the box up and we're like, eh, alright, this is a car, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's got wheels. I, I mean, I didn't even know about any of this. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, take the shit off. Oh. I only knew because uh, when the rep brought it up. Um, what did he bring up? This. All right. 
<laughs> he probably, <laughs> <he> probably <laughs> had the same problem. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's why. Uh, yeah, he did that as well, and I was like, what are you doing? But yeah, when that's on and pinned, you can't get that off. I mean, I, what, I don't, what I don't understand about this is, I think that's cool, yet all it is, is inconvenient. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I'm like, I want that but on my truck. Yeah, <laughs> but it is. It's like, why? I mean, what, does it just keep the shell... I mean, I suppose on its own it's a bit thing, but then you wouldn't, you would support it if it was on its own. I suppose, what, the shell's helping that with support, and yeah. that's helping and when the shell you get, with when, support. And obviously when you get it yourself, if you get yourself a different body shell, not an HPI body shell, if you get like an axial body shell and fit it on it, you're going to lose this mount anyway. Ah, you're going to lose that mount, so you're just going to, what, drill it through. But you're, st you're still going to put a peg in there because it's something that you have to do. <laughs> you're like, do you know what, let's just put a nut and a bolt through the window and just, it's on. <laughs> it's on yeah all right so that was us again making a mess and being rubbish but that's Random. that's why you follow this that's channel why, uh, if you wanted professionalism you'd be you on a different channel yeah exactly <laughs> you'd be watching rc adventures or something right so thank you very much for watching again we will try and catch you as soon as possible and do some more running and maybe we'll get in a, mi a mighty thunder or something out since people have asked and there's my phone. Oh, Mikey's dodgy ringtone. Check that out. Highway to the danger zone. Right, guys. Catch you later. Oh, See you later. I was going to answer that. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.